Well, those herring fishermen face stiff competition in our waters, not just from other fleets uh, and other fish boats, but from hungry seals and sea lions. But as CTV's Gord Kerbis found out today, a Comox Valley man has come up with a device that he thinks will allow the ocean predators and fishermen to coexist. They may look innocent enough while basking in the sunshine, but ask any fisherman about their run-ins with sea lions, and they'll share tales of thieves just waiting to spring into action. The ones that are really habituated, uh, they just follow you around until you catch something, and then they're on it like a rash. Fisherman Ron McDonough has had his share of fish stolen over the past 60 years. Finally, he had enough, and so he came up with this little device. That's the orca when they're, when they're uh, actually talking. That's the transient. He calls his invention orchestra. It looks like a flashlight, but he believes it offers a whale-sized impact. It's a recording of uh, transient killer whales uh, just after they've uh, caught a seal and they're kind of divvying it up. And uh, we're trying to decide whether to put uh, echolocation in there as well. When put into the water, McDonough says the device sends out recorded sounds of orca whales, and it should send any seals or sea lions in the area on the retreat. We've got it pretty near perfected now just to actually uh, what recording and what mix we're going to use. But it, it works on about a 10, uh, 20 second burst just while, the, uh, just while you have a fish on the line to uh, discourage the seal or break his concentration. The Comox Valley inventor believes he's on to a great idea that provides a more effective and humane way to deal with any thieving sea mammals. Seems to be a little better than using a seal bomb is what the commercial guys used to use. It's like a little hand grenade underwater. And uh, there's people have tried slingshots. They've tried uh, uh, bear bangers. It's kind of like just a little insurance that you have something that you can do. McDonough is reluctant to demonstrate the product for fear of being accused of harassing these sea lions and he's still working with the authorities to ensure it will be legal. Once that's determined, he says he's already got fishermen ready to buy. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Fanny Bay.